Number 36. Angioplasty is a technique in which arteries partially blocked with plaque are dilated to increase blood flow. By what factor must the radius of an artery be increased in order to increase blood flow by a factor of 10? So on, a, on this question, please reference number 34. All right, I spoke about how to use this equation, manipulate it and highlight it and do all that stuff to, uh, to arrive at uh, a ratio that we can use. I'm just going to do the shorthand here. So we want to compare Q to R. So I realize that they are on opposite sides of the equal sign, both essentially in the numerator. So I'm going to write that the original uh, flow rate will equal then the original radius raised to the fourth power. So to create my ratio now, I'm going to plug these, uh, or I'm going to now put in um, the new values underneath. All right, and actually I don't really need a parenthesis there. That's raised to the fourth. I can reorganize this now, and um, because both of these are raised to the fourth power. So I can say that QO over QN, by the way, O stands for original, N stands for new. This would be RO over RN, all raised to the fourth power. So now what's going on is that they tell us that, um, what do you call it? So now they say that the blood flow, we wanna figure out how much must the radius uh, of the artery be increased by, right? To increase the blood flow by a factor of 10. So essentially they're saying that the new flow rate has to be 10 times that of the original flow rate, right? That's what the last part of this statement's telling me. So now what I can do if I'd like, I can take this and now plug it in for Q sub N. So that would mean Q sub O over now 10 times Q sub O would equal RO over RN all raised to the fourth. Now notice what happens here. The QOs go bye-bye. And what we are left with is we're left with one over 10 is gonna be equal to RO over RN, all raised to the fourth power. Okay, so now what we can do is we can solve this and then we can think about does the answer make sense? Maybe we have to flip it. Or I mean, we can flip it now if we, if we can figure out what ratio they're asking us for. Remember they're asking us for what factor, okay, must the radius of an artery be increased? So essentially the, the way that this is being framed or phrased is they want us to find this, Rn compared to Ro. We know that because it's a direct relationship over here in the formula, all right? We know that if R goes up, Q goes up, okay? Because it's a direct relationship, right? R is in the numerator here. So that being the case, I know that this ratio, that the if I want to increase the blood flow by a factor of 10, that the new radius better be larger than the old. And that's the whole point of the angioplasty is to increase the radius all right, of the uh, artery. So what I now need to do here is I can just perform a, a simple uh, flip if I so need. You can also though solve it and then flip it. It really doesn't matter when you do it. All right, just know that this is what we're looking for. Actually, what I'm gonna do here, let's just solve this and then flip it. All right, what you have to do is let's, we have to get rid of the fourth power here. So you gotta raise this whole side to the fourth. And if you raise the left side, you also got to do that to the right side. So now you plug that into the calculator. So that will tell you RO over RN will be equal to, so one in parentheses, one over 10, then raise that to now the one fourth power. And this is going to come out to a decimal, 0 0.562, 0 0.562. And you can put that over one if you like, all right? So what this is telling us is, is essentially, roughly, that the old uh, radius before the angioplasty will be about half that of the size of the new radius after the angioplasty is performed, okay? But if I need to flip this now, I can flip the left side and also flip the right side, meaning I can put, uh, I can do now R sub N over R sub O will be equal to one over 0 0.562 and what I can now do is plug this thing into the calculator and that would be then about 1.78 or so. So this is 1.78 now over one. It's saying the same thing just in a different perspective, right? Now we figured out how many times, didn't I say that, didn't I say before that RO was approximately half that of RN? Right, in other words, Rn is approximately double that of Ro. All right, so that's all that the, you know, doing the reciprocal kind of means here. 
But this would probably be a better way of phrasing it given how they want us to answer the question. So in other words, Rn is increased by a factor of 1.78, okay? As you can see why I don't write a lot of stuff down is because it's hieroglyphics, all right? So if you can understand that, take a look at the Rosetta Stone and you can probably figure that out. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. Thank you very, very much, and we'll see you next time. Take care.